Chrono Trigger, Mega Man, Super Mario, Pokemon, Star Ocean, Final Fantasy, Earthbound, so many classic titles have found new life in Secrets of Mirage, a game going strong for 14 years, a game I spent most of my teen years unable to pull myself away from due to the competition and the ever-expanding world. Today I'm touching on the basics and what makes Secrets of Mirage one of the top retro MMORPG titles of our day. So many different classes to choose from! Aside from how your sprite will look, you also have various stats to consider when picking a class. Strength determines the weapon you can use, defense determines the armor you can wear, magic determines the spell you can cast, certain classes however are capable of certain spells, so a melee character can't use mage spells, and speed determines what helmet you can use. You may be just like me and want a class you think sounds cool, so I go with Vampire Hunter because vampires are jerks! Now that you've found yourself in the game, we've covered what each stat does, so I'll put a little bit more into detail. Strength will increase your damage. Two points of strength is one additional point of damage. Three defense is one additional damage blocked. Four magic is one additional piece of magical damage. Speed won't contribute to damage reduction and only allows for better helm use. Along the side of the screen you'll see various buttons that all have different functions. From the top down you have the sword, which will show your equipment slots and the worn equipment. The bag, which will show your inventory. The book, which will show your spells. The satchel, which will open up any shop available on your current screen. The map, which will show you the players online, also available with slash who. The shield is your guild. The mirror will show you detailed stats. The pendant will show you the highest player levels for overall and each class. The torch will show you the quests you have, and the windmill thing will show you your current party. Your controls are very basic. Move with the arrow keys, speak or interact with NPCs with the alt button, and attack monsters or NPCs with the control button. You can also speak to everyone in game by putting an apostrophe before your message, like this. Hi everyone! Alright, enough of the new character. This is my character, Logan. Level 191, which is the rank of King. Some X characters have the ability to reach level 500, with 3 stat points per level giving you the ability to build your character however you like. OG in blue, beside my character name, is the guild I'm in. This guild is original gamers founded by another one of the game's players. There are many guilds you can align yourself with, for guild wars, territory capture, and many other things. Somex has many different zones, which you can identify by the top of the screen. The name of the map will have different colors, signifying the zone you're in. White is a safe zone, where you cannot be player killed, but if you die to an NPC here, you will drop any equipped gear. Next you have a gray zone, you can be player killed here, and NPC killed, however there are no penalties for death. Next you have an orange zone, when you die here, you lose a certain amount of experience, player killing is acceptable here. Next you have a yellow zone, where you can lose experience and an associated item with that yellow zone. The item is always listed beside the zone name. The next two zones are extremely dangerous and you must pay attention. Red zones. You are able to be player killed and if you are, you will drop equipment on a certain percentage. You could lose it all, you could lose nothing. Last we have a black zone, which is the most dangerous but also gives you the best experience and drops. If you are player killed in a black zone, you lose experience and all equipped gear. Not a good time, so be very careful. Now that I've scared you, let's move on to something less stressful. You'll have noticed that while attacking in Somex, your durability for your weapons goes down. The same can be said for your armor when you're attacked. You'll want to make sure that you go to maps with repair options using the slash shop command or pressing the shop button and clicking repair. Not all shops can repair, so pay attention. Additional commands can be found by typing slash help, which will bring up whoop, this menu. You may not use a lot of these, but private messaging players and chatting and broadcast is one of the many useful tools in Psalm X. 
Somex has so many amazing places to explore. Really, it is a massive game. You'll encounter the villains, the good guys, and the people in between. I try to represent a better side of Somex, so be sure to shoot Logan a message when you log on, and I'll do what I can to get you started the right way. The game can be downloaded from www.secretsofmirage.com and can also be followed on Twitter at username Secrets of Mirage. I'm Zero to Hero 77, or Logan in Game, and I can't wait to see you online. Until next time.